Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakewithjack.co.uk, bringing your weekly bread baking tip every single Thursday. And today I'm going to tell you how to save an overproofed dough. Let's go. Okay, first things first, when I say overproofed dough, saving an overproofed dough, I'm talking about a dough that's gone up and collapsed back into a pancake again. That's what I consider overproofed. I don't consider overproofed to be like Paul Hollywood describes overproofed where something goes, oh yeah, it's proofed up and you've baked it and it's gone a little bit crinkly on the outside and that's why it's overproofed. Because in my eyes, that's a great success as well. As long as you can make toast and a sandwich and as long as it's delicious, that's a great success. But if it does go up and come back down again, you know, you've got to go quite far for that to happen. Maybe you forgot about it and went for a cup of tea and forgot all about it, whatever. But if it went up and come back down, Never ever throw it away. Now I'm talking about the case of a straight dough, a dough you've made start to finish with yeast, baker's yeast, whether it's the dry one or the fresh one, doesn't matter. But the chances are your dough, once it's gone up and come back down, has still got life in it. It's still got yeast huffing and puffing. And then the simplest thing you can possibly do is just reshape that bloomer or cob loaf or whatever it was, a loaf in a tin or rolls, reshape them up and let them puff up again and it will puff up again. Then you can bake it and you're back to square one as if nothing ever happened. And you can even do this if your bread's got topping on top. For example, one time I made a focaccia and it overproofed. I was at a show, I didn't have any means of baking it. It puffed up and fell back down again. I had all that lovely, herby, delicious oil all over the top. I shaped it into a cob loaf, folding that filling, that topping inside, and it was absolutely wonderful and delicious. I baked that focaccia cob herby oil mess, and it was absolutely wonderful and delicious. And the same goes if you've got seeds on top, because during the shaping process, some of those seeds are gonna make their way inside, and some of them are gonna be on the outside, but that's absolutely fine. It's not an issue whatsoever. She reshape it, build that tension back up again, it comes up again, and then bake it. Now in an extreme case where your dough is no longer active, when your yeast has expired and it's given up the ghost and it's got nothing left and it's dust in the wind, this is what you need to do. First, have a think about it. Now your dough is not going to come back like a beautiful, delicious, tall and proud bloomer loaf anymore. But hey, what might happen is it will make a pretty darn delicious pizza. Think of the flat things, the pizzas, the flatbreads, you can make a flatbread and make some nice herby oil and toss it all over the top as soon as it comes out of the oven so it soaks in nice and delicious with a bit of sea salt and sesame seeds. Ooh! You can make some pita breads and in worst case scenario, roll them all into little balls. Let them rest up so they relax a little bit and not so tight. Roll them out really, really super flat and toast them in a pan and make your own homemade tortilla wraps. But never, in any circumstances ever, throw that dough away. You can always make something else out of it, and you never know, it might just be a little bit better than what you intended to make, and nobody will ever know the difference. As always, thank you very much for being here. Uh, I just make these videos for a little bit of fun, and hopefully to help educate and inspire you to make amazing bread at home. Uh, did you know that you can get these videos in your inbox. If you're not already subscribed to the Home Bakers Bulletin, there's a link underneath if you're on YouTube, and there's a link to the side of the screen if you're watching this on my website. Subscribe to the Home Bakers Bulletin. Every Thursday you'll get this video in your inbox, the video of the week, and you'll get my recipes and other bits of bread making content from Bake With Jack Towers. Thank you very much once again. I look forward to seeing you next week for another bread making tip. Bye-bye.